Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can randomly select items from a list. So here we have a list of car makes, and we want to select three items from that randomly. So how can we do that? In this solution, we're going to use some dynamic array formulas to do this. So let's see how we can do that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a range of random values. And then we're going to use those to sort our list into a new random order. So to create our random values, we're going to use the new rand array function to do that. So this creates a range of random values for us. And the first argument in that is how many rows of random values we want to return. And we want to return the same number of rows as we have in our list. So we're going to calculate that with the rows function. And that just tells us how many rows are in a given range. So we're going to select our range of values here. And now that'll give us the number of rows that we want to return in our random array of values. And then we have a couple other optional arguments here. So if we leave this out, it'll just return one column and it'll return values from zero to one. And those will be decimal values if we leave all those other optional arguments out. So let's close off our rand array function. And you can see that we have a list of random numbers here between zero and one. And now how can we use this random list to sort our values here? Well, we can use the sort by function. So sort by allows us to sort an array by another array of values. And so we're going to sort our list of cars here by our random list of numbers here. Now there's a couple other optional arguments and we don't need those. So however we sort these, they're going to be sorted into a new random order. So let's just finish that formula and press enter. And you can see we got our exact same list here, just in a different random order now. Now, how can we get the first three items from this list? So if we get the first three items, that's going to be a random set of items from our list. And to do that, what we're going to do is use the index function. Now the index function takes a range of values and then returns a value based on a row number or column number. Now, if we just give it uh, the third item in there, then what we're going to get is you can see that now from this list, we are getting the third uh, item in our list. But what we want is the first, second and third items in our list, not just the third item. So I'm going to delete this. And what we're actually going to do for that is use the sequence function. So this is another dynamic array function, and it allows us to create a dynamic sequence of numbers. So our sequence is going to be three rows big. And then there are three other arguments in the sequence function. And if we leave them out, they're going to default to a sequence of one column. And those values are going to start at the value of one and they're going to increase by one. So let's just leave those out and you can see that we get a sequence one, two, three. And here, if we change this to maybe four, then we'll get a sequence from one to four. Let's change that back to three. And now if we use our index function, we can reference our randomly sorted list here and also our sequence. And then that's going to return the top three items from our list here. Now, of course, you can write this all in one function if you want. So let's try that out. So let's press F2 and edit this. And actually, I'm just going to replace these references here with their formulas. So this was just a sequence. And a sequence of three values. And this was a sort by. And 
down here where we are sorting our cars by our random values here. And then our random values was from the rand array function. And we use the rows function to get those values. And we're missing one parentheses here. Let's add that in. So now we have a formula that references just our list and the number of items we want to return randomly. And if we press F9, you can see that this is randomly recalculating each time. So we get a new list of random items. Now also you'll notice that these three items here will never repeat themselves. So because we are just sorting our list randomly and then taking the top three items, this random selection is going to be without replacement. Now we're referencing everything pretty dynamically. So if we add items to our list, let's add these five cars into our list or table. And now we'll be able to randomly select from those 15 cars. So if we press F9, we should see that now we are able to select from one of those new cars as well. So that's how you can randomly select items from a list without replacement. So we were able to use dynamic arrays to sort our list in a random order. And then we just took the top three or four or five items from our list. And this was a dynamic way so we can change inputs and maybe select five items instead of three. And here we'll get a random selection of five items. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video.